Hey everyone, this is William Page uh, with Slightly Above Average um, YouTube channel. Welcome to my third video. The focus of this video is to talk all about the drink, the Paloma. Um, really three things that we're going to try to incorporate into this video are going to be one, why at all would you want to make a Paloma and especially why would you make it at your home given that maybe you go out and get a cocktail or buy something at a restaurant. Number two is what are the things that you need to purchase so that you can make this drink and make it taste good for all your guests. And then number three is how do you actually make this and how do you look professional while doing it, which takes a little bit of practice and getting used to. Um, but if you like the content, if you like what you see, and if you're um, interested in making your own drink, number one, why don't you um, smash the like button down below. And number two, why don't you leave me a comment and let me know what types of things you like to make at home or what types of things you'd like to see me make in the future. So when you start thinking about a Latin inspired summer drink, um, the first thing that comes to your mind is a margarita. Now, go, don't get me wrong, a margarita with its lime taste, tequila, and salt really um, has something special to bring to the table. But um, if you're looking for something a little bit different and a little bit more unique, you might want to consider the Paloma. Um, it's actually the most popular mixed drink with tequila down in Mexico. And those folks have been pairing tequila with different things for um, hundreds, if not thousands of years more than us folks in America. Um, so really what sets it apart is that mix of flavor between the grapefruit, um, soda water, and then tequila, or of course substituting in mezcal. Um, really good, really unique, and something that you can make for your guests that maybe they've never tried before, or something that you can order for a bar that sets you apart from the normal folks who are just having margaritas. Hey everybody, welcome back. We're in the kitchen so that we can complete this Paloma. Um, so let's talk a little bit about um, some of the things that we need. Um, one is glassware. Um, we're gonna need a short bucket or a cocktail drink. Um, what you're gonna wanna do with that cocktail drink is you're going to want to take a lime and get the rim nice and moist. Um, take that rim and drop it in the salt and you've got a nice salted rim. Once you have your salted rim, you want to move on to your cocktail shaker. Um, you want to fill that guy up with some ice. Just a generous amount, not too much, um, but enough. Um, okay, I put about um, five to seven cubes of ice in there, and that should help us um, when we shake this ice up. Okay, so first ingredient is going to be Don Julio tequila. Uh, we're going to take the tequila, we are going to put two ounces of tequila in the shaker. So a nice fast pour, nice and easy one and two. There we go, we've got our tequila. Um, the next major ingredient is going to be the grapefruit juice. Um, same thing, you're going to notice something very simple about this drink. Most things are going to be two ounces. So there's one and there's the second ounce. All right, next we have the sparkling grapefruit water. Again, with two ounces. One and two. Um, here's where things get just a little bit tricky. Um, instead of two ounces with the simple syrup, we're going to do just one ounce. All right. And now let's give that a shake. Right. Let's prepare our glass with a little bit of ice. And then if you've got one of these fancy cocktail shakers, you can just take the top off and strain your drink. Leaving yourself just a little bit of room at the top. Um, and you're going to take your sparkling water, your Pellegrino, top it off, add a garnish of grapefruit, 
And bingo, that is the Paloma. Cheers, everyone. <laughs> Oops, I have a drinking problem. <laughs>